So press R, then Y, and 90 degrees, and you should get this right. Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to do a quick modeling exercise and create this old school phone. And I really hope you will enjoy this one. And if you do, please don't forget to leave the like. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the fastest and most effective way, be sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills through local illustration all the way to full character illustration and textured environment. And we even have a little bit of sculpting there, hard surface modeling. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into to blend the file. And first of all, let's just select the camera and the light and press X and choose the lead. And now we'll start with the plane. So let's press Shift A, we'll go mesh and add a new plane. And we don't need to care about dimensions right now. So let's just tap into the edit mode and now press E to extrude a little bit like this. And now E again. Now let's press S to scale it down a tiny bit. And then additionally, we'll scale it on X axis. So press S, then X and scale it down here and press G, then X and move it back a little bit. So this will be like a basic shape for our phone like this. And now let's go to the modifiers panel and let's add subdivision modifiers. So click here, choose generate and subdivision surface. And now we'll need to add some support loops, of course. So let's press Ctrl R and create a loop right here and slide it down a little bit. And now let's press Ctrl R again and we'll add one here in the middle. And let's add one more here as well. And one more towards the top here. And probably this is too high up. So let's just toggle the X-ray, select everything here, press G then Z and move it down. Okay, I think this is looking quite okay. And let's increase the levels the viewport and right click and shade smooth so this will serve as our base phone shape now let's toggle the x-ray back and let's tap into the edit mode press 2 for edge select select this edge right here hold shift s and snap cursor to select it and now we can tap out and let's press shift a and we'll add another plane now tap into the edit mode and press s to scale it down all like this and then S then Y and scale on the Y axis and we can press G then Y and move it to the side here. All like this and now let's just extrude by pressing E and let's go ahead and in the modifiers panel let's add new modifier here from the generate options and let's switch X off and let's turn on the Y and now let's press Ctrl R and create additional loop cut here in the middle. Right click to release select this edge right here and press G then Z and move it down. And additionally, let's enable X-ray modifier again. Let's switch to the face select by pressing three and select the bottom two faces, press X and delete them. And now we can tap out, turn off the X-ray and we can add the subdivision modifier here as well and add few support loops. So again, we'll add a few more subdivisions, tap into the edit mode and let's press Ctrl R and create a few cuts right here. And additionally, we can adjust the shape. So turn on the X-ray. We can select this and move it up slightly and then select everything and move it down just like that. Now tab out, right click and shade smooth. And now let's press Shift A and let's create a cube here tap into the edit mode and scale it down to something like this and now we can tap out press G then Z and move it up so it roughly matches the height here and now tap back in and let's split this in half and add mirror modifier so Control R for a loop cut create a loop cut right here then right click to release and select all of these vertices on the other side press X and delete them and now let's add the mirror modifier here as well. And again, we'll switch off the X and enable Y and make sure you enable clipping as well. And now we can select these four and press G then Y and drag them out a little bit like this. And now press Ctrl R and create a loop cut here and slide it over like this. And now let's create another one. So Ctrl R and slide it here. And now select these bottom words and press S and scale them up like this. Maybe even more. Okay, something like that. And now press E to extrude. 
And now let's press Ctrl R, create a new loop cut right here in the middle, right click to release, and now select all of these vertices. Let's look from the side by pressing 3 on an unpad, and now press R to rotate this and G to move it around. So we have something like this here. And now let's select these vertices and move them a little bit away. And here we'll move these closer. Okay. Now if we tab out and add subdivision modifier, we get something like this. And let's play around with the shape. So tab back in and let's press Ctrl R and create a supporting loop down here. We can alt click this loop and make it larger and basically select this whole thing and make it a little bit larger. Move it down and away on Y axis. So press G then Y and move it away. Okay, I really like this. So let's increase the levels in the viewport here. Right click and shade smooth. So this is the base for the phone. And now we'll create the dial here in the front. So let's select the phone, tab back in and let's go for edge select or press 2 select this edge and hold shift s and snap cursor to select it so we can create a new object there tab out and let's press shift a and we'll add a circle and let's modify this to something like 24 verts tap into the edit mode scale this down to something like this and now press f to fill i to inset scale it down like this and now I again, like that, and now press 3 for face select, alt click this loop and press X and delete faces, and press A to select everything and E to extrude, and now here in the middle we can give this some volume, so press I and inset, press G then Z and move it up a little bit, and now press Ctrl B to bevel so we add some more geometry there. Now we'll tap out and right click and shade auto smooth. If you're using Blender 4.1, that's smooth by angle, but it does the same thing. So let's just increase this to something like 40 just in case. And now let's press shift A and it will create a cylinder. Now let's modify this to something like 24 as well, or I think 16 should be enough. Tap into the edit mode and press S to scale it down. And now let's look from the top by pressing 7 on an unpad. Tap out and press G then X and move it here. And now we can additionally scale this down a little bit. And now to punch these holes around, I uh, will just need to duplicate this in a circle. And it's quite easy thing to do. So first let's make sure our pivot point is based on the cursor here. So press period on the keyboard and switch to 3D cursor, or you can do it here as well. And now if you press R, you can see we're rotating around the 3D cursor. So we're going to change some commands. So first of all, let's press Alt D for duplication. And immediately after that, we'll press R. And let's enter 36 degrees. And let's confirm. And now before you do anything, let's just press Shift R a few times. So we duplicate it all around. You can see how it repeats our rotation command around that 3D cursor. So now we can turn this back to the medium point. Let's enable extra view so we better see what we have here. And let's just select everything here and we can hold control and deselect the phone and hold control and deselect the wheel here so we only have this cylinder selected now hold shift select the front one and we'll press ctrl j to join them we don't need to have them as separate objects anymore and right now we'll right click and shade smooth and the easiest way to punch these holes is using boolean modifier and i like to use bool tool add-on for that so let's just go to edit preferences add-ons and search for bool and just check the box here and close the preferences and now if you hold shift select the wheel you will see it's highlighted in yellow and these are orange so we can now hold control and hit minus on an unpad and this will punch our holes into the geometry and we can just parent everything so press ctrl p and parent this boolean object to the wheel now select the wheel, let's look from the front by pressing 1 on an unpad and let's press R to rotate everything like this, so it matches the slope. And now that's our dial, so let's turn off the X-ray view and we can make it a little bit larger. And I think we can make this larger as well, a little bit. And now um, the fun part, to create the cable, you know that curly uh, flexible cable, so we'll use two sets of curves for that. And basically this lesson is kind of focused on this part. So 
first of all let's rotate this a little bit hold shift and right click here to place the cursor and we'll now create the shape for the cable how it connects to the handle here so let's press shift a and we'll go mesh and single word if you don't have that option here let's go edit preferences and search for extra and just check the box next to the add mesh extra objects and close the preferences and now when you press shift a you will see all of these options right here including the single vert so let's just add it well, let's look from the top by pressing 7 on an armpit and now we'll need to get a little bit creative with our camera view to make this nice and organic and before you do anything let's make sure you are in the vertex selling mode so press 1 and right after you added the single word, you can see you're already in the edit mode, no need to tab in. So let's just press E, then X, and extrude it tiny bit out. And now let's look from the front, and we'll need to go down a little bit, like this, and then straighten it out. Now if we look from the front, we also need to move it in this direction. And now just press E, and extrude it along the phone here and now we'll curve back towards the handle and i think this will look great from this angle here so let's go back here like this and now we need to go up so you will always need to kind of check from multiple angles here and see how you're approaching your target there but i think this is looking okay and we can now curve this back here okay and now just look from all possible angles and check for adjustment so this looks nice and smooth okay so this is still not a curve, this is just extruded vertices. But I really like to create curves this way because now I can tab out and I can add the subdivision modifier here as well. And you will see this will get nice and smooth here. And now I can right click, convert and choose curve. So now if I tab in, you will see these are curve control points. So let's tab back out and now let's create the cable itself. So um, we can see the origin point of the curve is here and the cursor as well. And the best way to do this is to create um, the curve we want to bend around this uh, at the same origin point. So let's just select everything here, press H to hide so we only see the curve there. And before we add that spiral, let's go into the add-ons once more and check add curve extra objects as well. This will add some extra options for the curves. And let's press shift a let's choose curve spirals and let's choose archimedean so now we'll need to modify the radius so let's bring this down a little bit and i think something like this will be fine and now let's add some height and let's increase the turns and basically we can now play around with this setup i think something like this should be okay and let's increase the turns yeah, let's add a few more, something like this. Okay, and now if we click away, uh, this is now finished. We cannot edit this anymore and we'll finish up manually. So let's select the top control point. Let's look from the top and we'll press E a few times and extrude this towards the middle. And as you go towards the middle, we should go a little bit up as well. And as you are in the middle, Let's make sure we are hitting the right spot here. And that this looks nice and smooth. And now we can just press E and Z and extrude this up. And just make sure you subdivide this well a few times. So let's hold shift, select both control points, right click and choose subdivide. And let's increase at least to something like 10. And we'll do the same thing here at the bottom. And again, let's right click and subdivide a few times. Okay, and maybe we can right click and subdivide again and do the same thing here so it's a little bit more dense. And now let's press A to select everything. Let's look from the front and press G and Z and move it up so it sits here at this endpoint. 
right there. Maybe this is too high. Um, so let's just select a few of these, press X and delete. And now press A to select everything and move this down. And now in the curve settings, we can actually add geometry very easily by adding depth here in the bevel section. You will get this nice cable here. And to bend it around that first curve, um, we can use the curve modifier. So let's go to the modifiers and let's add modifier and choose the form and curve. And I will use the eyedropper tool and choose this curve as a target. Now this doesn't work yet, but you can see the form axis is X. So we need to rotate this so it's along X axis. So press R then Y and 90 degrees and you should get this right. Now, if you disable the modifier, you can see this is the orientation of the cable. Um, this is the origin point right here. And right at that same origin point, this is the curve. This curve starts and bends around. So if you now enable that modifier, this should work as expected. And now if you scale up and down, you can fill small gaps like this. And if you now press Alt H, you have finished phone right here alongside with the cable with the dial and everything so that's it when it comes to like quick modeling exercise you know playing around with shapes of the phone punching holes in those dials and using the curves and curve modifier to quickly create um you know complex and intricate cables like this um i will now go ahead and fast forward and you know add a little bit of materials lighting um so we have a nice thumbnail in the end so i will see you on the other side So that's it. Uh, as you can see, I just added like a few colorful materials and placed around uh, lights, um, mostly area lights right here to create these reflections on the glossy surface. And then I added some world lighting and in the render settings, adjusted the contrast. But basically that's everything I did here. So yeah, that's it for the quick modeling exercise and creating a phone using subdivisions, booleans and curve modifiers. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And again, if you did, please leave that like. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.